how do you document a mob testing session? So I think you might have covered this actually a little bit. A little bit. I think the other yeah. part is then just whatever is needed for your content. Yeah. Because yeah. some people might not need any documentation at all from testing sessions. Some other might for audit events or something. Mm -hmm. But um, the how is definitely do it together. <laughs> <laughs> so can you, so would you, so what so <laughs> reminds me actually so um and you can find this on the dojo folks which is handy so uh Marit did a uh, did a talk in philadelphia i think 2016 go check it out on the dojo and she got a bunch of us on stage to do a, a mob and she was using uh we were i don't remember what the tool was but it was a it was a mind mapping tool and we would update it together while we were while we were um, testing mobbing together so is is that is a mind mapping tool the best way to do that or or does it really matter that's the question does it really matter because i love mind maps also yeah, same. For when i'm working solo yeah because they can i can rearrange everything they're visual my developers love them to discuss about them because they're visual they can you know deal with that it's better than with lists or something or excel sheets or whatever uh, it's more like a free flow of test ideas. And for me, it helps me um, when exploring, for example. But that's a personal preference. Um, I I think anything that is um, easily editable helps. Ooh, yeah. Because yeah, sometimes, yeah. like, if you, the only thing that I would not recommend so much is more like I saw that at conferences sometimes when people start drawing on a flip chart. And it's not as easy anymore to change things around. Yeah. I mean, it could work still, but that's the downside of, you know, not using digital uh, tools in that case. Mm. They're not as, yeah, as easily adaptable on the go, which is, which I normally need when testing because I'm learning as I go, right? Yeah.